Rock Casino Resort and Spa here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada is buzzing tonight as we are set for some great action inside the Octagon. This is UFC Fight Night Live. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. We've got an incredible night of fights lined up for you this evening, and we are just about set to open the Octagon gates. My partner is always Joe Rogan. Joe, how great are these matchups this evening? We've got some awesome fights here tonight, Mike. There are so many fighters competing, and the divisions are so deep in the UFC that any one of these matchups could end up being fight of the night. This is just a sick card, and I am very excited to see all the fights this evening. So, my partner, and if you are a fan of mixed martial arts, so should all of you. But before the fights begin, let's take a look at our rules of the octagon. Three judges will score the bout, the bout duration, three five-minute rounds. There are no championship fights on the card tonight. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. Our night with a bantamweight collision between Kid Yamamoto and Mighty Mouse, Demetrius Johnson. A natural athlete, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson uses his speed and conditioning to overwhelm his opponents and set them up for the finish. And with dangerous submission techniques at his disposal, that finish can come very quickly. Better known as Kid, Norofumi Yamamoto is a power-punching Japanese wrestler with a history of exciting knockout victories. Tonight, he plans on using that dynamite in his hands to add one more to the highlight reel. is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Red Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And now it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler and a kickboxer. He stands five feet, three inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. Norfumi Kid Yamamoto. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. Are you ready to fight? Demetrius ready? Johnson, Kid Yamamoto. And we Come are on, underway. Uh oh, oh big down, combination. Down. Throw, throw. Mixing things up. Here's your face. Both guys staying in tight. Good oh, takedown oh, defense. And now he's answered. Nice job, double leg. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Oh, wow. looping hook there. Push kick. And again. He loves throwing that punch. Oh, big shots. Over the top. Wow, 
Oh, that right hand. Three to go. Get inside. Watch him try to face you. Oh, good combination. Drop down for a double. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Inside leg kick. Teeing away. Mixing things up nicely. Oh, and nice Again. body shots. Oh, big left hook. Fast hands. Good battle inside. In the clinch. Just over a minute remains. Stuffed. Just punishing him. 45 seconds remains in the first round. He caught the kick. Big right hand. Round one is in the books. Joe, both fighters seem determined to keep this fight standing. And the crowd here seems to appreciate a good striking match, Mike. That's all we need. Yeah, and you're going to have to Don't chase him. Use your range. A lot of turns. Be sharp with that. You got to work. Stop backing him up. Back him up. I have time. Three, two, three, two. He's still looking for that uppercut, all right? Don't give him the uppercut with him out there. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. Here's that unbelievable exchange. Both fighters connecting. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. Some good striking in that round, Mike. I want fours and fives with the punches now, all right? We, we can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Set for round two. Come on, this fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. Beautiful hook. Oh, big overhand right. They are exchanging here, Mike. And he answers. Nice. He drops him with the uppercut. And he dives on him with this punch when he's down. Very nice. Now into side control. Okay, he moves into the mount here. Oh, he got reversed. Pushes him off of the feet, and he lets him back up. He's mixing it up very nicely with the kicks and punches. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. hand. Left. He's got the clinch. Good sprawl. Full guard here. Side control. Nice right hand. Nice right hand. Oh, that right hand hurt him. Wow, that right hand. Vicious ground and pound from the top here. Haymakers. Vicious punches from the top here, Mike. Side control again. 90 seconds remains in the second. Oh, and really raining down. Oh, oh. he's rocked. This could be it. It is all over. That is as vicious a display of ground and pound that you and I have seen in a long time. That was very, very nasty. Kid Yamamoto with the victory. And that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. Look at it from this angle.
and with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 47 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Norafumi Kid Yamamoto. Kid Yamamoto reigns supreme. collision between the California Kid, Uriah Faber, and Little Evil, Jens Pulver. By Edge Shave Gel. Get your edge. Jens Pulver, Uriah Faber. And here we go. go. Joe, one of the most popular fighters in the history of the sport, the UFC's first UFC lightweight champion, Jens Pulver. Little Evil Pulver was one of the first real knockout artists at 155 pounds. Throws a vicious straight left hand. He's got real good wrestling, great sub. Oh! And he slips and winds up on his back. Good job. He's looking for a Kimura. Oh, man, really cranking on that shoulder. This looks bad. It's over. It is all over. Very nice. He has tapped submission victory by Kimura. Uriah Faber finishes the fight. Let's take a look at it again. He pins down the arm, gets his arm underneath it, turns it up towards his head, and forces the tap. Perfect technique here. Joe, you can see the pressure that was being placed on the shoulder of his opponent. No doubt, he had to tap. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Kimura, the California kid, Uriah Faber. Uriah Faber, the winner. Matchup between the axe murderer, Vanderlei Silva, and the French Canadian superstar, George St. Pierre. Brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available 
at tapout.com. Okay, George St. Pierre, Vanderlei Silva, and here we Let's go. Fight. Both guys staying in tight. He shoots. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Side control. Half guard. Back to side control. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. Half guard. Got the butterflies in. Side control again. Wow, that right hand. He's got half guard. The crowd rallying behind George St. Pierre. Transitions side to side control. Into half guard. And now he's in side control. Oh! Back to their feet. He's got the takedown. Side control. Oh, he got reversed. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Goes right into side control. Oh, to the midsection. Half guard. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Now into side control. Oh! All right, so they're back on their feet. And another takedown. Back on their feet. Nice job, double leg. Over under control. Back to their feet. They clinch. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Swing and a miss. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. What an exchange here. Big left hook. He's got his back. Working the clinch, and that's the end of round one. A great display of grappling skills in that round. Absolutely, Mike. I love a good jiu-jitsu match, and these two are putting on a show. You swim that arm over. You swim that arm over. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle in that arm bar. You can catch him all day long, okay? You good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that finger four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on him. Good? Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. And here we see the takedown finally get finished. A lot of struggle to get that. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. You can catch him all day long in that triangle in that arm bar. You can catch him all day long. The beautiful Shandella Powell. You read. You read. Here we go, round two. Let's fight. Don't chase him. He's got his back here. Break that grip open. He's got him pressed up against the cage here, working for control. He's got the double. Boom. And he's down. Going for over under here. Great job on the reversal. Oh, nice left and a right. George St. Pierre with another takedown. Beautiful wrestling by George St. Pierre. And back to full guard. Side control. Nicely done. Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Pushes him off of the feet. Yep. Looks like St. Pierre's cut here, Mike. Inside with the clinch again. 
Good takedown. Breathe and move right now. Breathe and move. Get busy here. Follow up. He's to the low. Two minutes remains in the second. Outstanding takedowns. Okay, moves into the mount here. He ate that one. Oh, reversal. Good sprawl. Total control from the top position. One minute remains in round two. Good sprawl. He's in full guard. Side control. He's got half guard. 30 seconds remains in the round. Oh, he gets reversed into half guard. And that is the end of round two. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. And stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick going. Hey, okay, five minutes of hell. Tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you got to bring something behind it. You got to bring something. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Very nice takedown here. And here we see some really decent takedown defense, making it tough to finish that. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. You hear me? You gotta take it to him. You can dump him, you can throw him. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Okay, fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go, round three. Let's fight. We got five minutes, we're done. Come on, nice kicks. Working your angles. He caught the leg. Nice right hand. And he's got, he's got the takedown. Side control. Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. He's got side control. Big right hand. And into full mount. He got reversed. Good sprawl. Beautiful. Now he's got his back. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. There you go, nice. Passes the half guard. He's in guard here. And he's got he's side, side control. control. Great reversal. Oh, reversal. He's got side control. Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Postured up. Oh! Nice right hand. And now, oh, big right hand. It is all over. What power. Vicious ground and pound. And the knockout finish. George St. Pierre. Let's look at it again. Look at all the power he gets in this. Multiple extra shots at the end of this fight. Yes, I know there was a lot of bad blood coming in, but a couple of those were pretty unnecessary. Great angle here. That is the result of a highlight reel knockout. And with our official decision, here 
is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 45 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, George Crush St. P. George Rush St. Pierre, the winner. A heavyweight collision between Gary Goodrich and Shane Carwin. A world-class wrestler known better for his skull-rattling punching power, Shane Carwin is a gigantic and athletic heavyweight. And as he's shown many times, fans should not expect this contest to make it to a second round. Since his impressive performance back at UFC 8, MMA journeyman Gary Goodrich has been knocking out fighters all over the world. With ruthless aggression and tremendous power, he's one of the most exciting brawlers the sport has ever known. is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet, three inches tall. Weighing in at 250 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Shane Carwin. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds, fighting out of Bari, Ontario, Canada, Gary Big Daddy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan. And we are ready to start round one. Shane Carwin, Gary Goodridge. And here we go. Let's Joe, if there were ever any doubters to Shane Carwin's championship abilities, he silenced the critics in his fight against Gabriel Gonzaga. He showed against Gabriel Gonzaga. Left hook, he's down! Oh! But he got rocked, but man, he snapped back quick. Back to their feet. He's got the double. Good sprawl. And now there's also a cut on Goodridge Joe. Both guys staying in tight. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Nice double leg. Side control. He's got the arm triangle. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Oh, he got reversed. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Pushes him off with the feet. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Carwin is fatigued. Transitions to the full mount. If he can flatten out his opponent, Joe, he can put in a choke here with both hooks in. 
Two minutes remains in round number one. Total control. Oh, brutal ground and pound. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's recovered. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Just over a minute remains. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Oh, to the midsection. 45 seconds remains in the first round. That's a huge left hand. Oh, he's even hurt more. Oh, but he recovers. This crowd is going nuts. Back to the back again. Both hooks in. Set up perfectly, and he slides out the back door. Round one complete. Joe, that round had to be some of the most exciting grappling we've ever seen in the octagon. Wow, Mike, listen to that crowd. These are educated fans appreciating a world-class display of jujitsu. He's tired, his legs are tired from trying to hold that big foot. Jay push. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that armbar. You can catch him all day long, okay? Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This is that huge shot very nearly end of the fight. And here's that punch that hit right on target. And here is a strike that landed right on target. Some great action in that round, Mike. Your fight, you gotta take him down. You gotta impose your will because you're a bigger, strong. Ariani gets us set for round two. Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are set for the start Let's of go, round go. number two. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. One six. Make him reach it and make him pass. Oh, no, he's tagged again. Oh, he recovers. Man, this crowd tonight really supporting Shane Carwin. Mount. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Beautiful. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Nice counter right, and he's down. He ate that one. He has got to improve this position because he's taking a ton of damage. Yeah, he's got to get out of there. Side control. Half guard. And back to full guard. Side control again. Three minutes remains in the second round. Oh, another one. He's in the full guard here. Back to side control. Oh. Absolutely vicious! It is all over! That is some nasty ground and pound right there, Mike. Shane Carwin with the victory! Really ruthless oh. performance here. Got on top of him and just hammered him into submission. Watch it again. And here's how he finishes him off. Just picture perfect ground and pound from the side control. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by TKO, Shane Carwin! Shane Carwin earns the victory tonight inside the octagon.
next, a light heavyweight showdown between the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito Ortiz, and Murillo Ninja Hua. Murillo Ninja Hua utilizes an aggressive Muay Thai style similar to his younger brother Shogun. And with a dangerous ground game and world-class experience, Ninja will be hunting for a win here tonight to reestablish himself as one of the sport's elite. A dominant wrestler famous for his conditioning, Tito Ortiz has fought into championship rounds during several wars in his career and never run out of gas. The Huntington Beach bad boy enters the octagon with a game plan that's easy to predict, but extremely hard to stop. Put his opponent on the mat and hammer away. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Marillo Ninja Hua. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a submission fighter. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. The Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. And we are ready, ready for sir? round one. Ready? Ninja Hua, Tito Ortiz. And here we Fight. go. One of the keys to the early success of Tito Ortiz, the longtime former light heavyweight champion, was the fact that he learned at a very young fighting age the importance of conditioning. Yeah, the fight with Frank Shamrock taught him uh, a big lesson. He was beating Frank Shamrock. He was the bigger, stronger man. But Frank patiently waited him out, made him work. And then when he gassed, Frank took over. And he never fought that way again. Every fight from the Frank Shamrock fight on, we saw Tito in tremendous condition. Goes right into side control. Into half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Posture's up. He's in guard here. Now into side control. Side control again. Mount. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Great job on the reversal. Oh, we got reversed. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. And he's got he's side, side control. control. Boom! Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Postured up. Two minutes remains in round number one. And now they're back to their feet. Good sprawl. Drags him to the ground. Nicely done. Reversal. Very nice. Able to posture up. Watch grab your legs. Full mount here. He's got half guard. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Full guard. 45 seconds remains in the first round. And back to full guard. Great reversal in the guard. Nice. 
Back to side control. Our first Ray. round is in the books. The referee separates them after a rather uneventful round of ground fighting. Yeah, they neutralized each other on the mat, Mike. No one seemed willing to take any risks. Swim that arm over. Good. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big foot. Okay, push the pace. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm bar. You can catch him all day long, okay? Got it all day Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. Nice, stiff counter right here. And here we see that exchange that ended in a solid takedown. Good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big foot. Okay, push the... There's the beautiful Ariani as we get set for round two. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Second round, fight, fight schedule for three five minute rounds. Again, the takedown is stopped. Good takedown defense. And he gets reversed. Great job on the reversal. Transitions to the full mount. Half guard. He's in the guard now. Side control. Oh! Oh, another one he lands. Oh, he rocked him, Joe. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. Who are starting to bleed bad now, Mike? Full guard here. And now he is wisely pushing his opponent up against the cage, which is going to take away some of his mobility. It'll definitely take away his ability to move his hips. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. In the clinch. Three minutes remains in the second round. He ate that one. And really raining down some haymakers. Oh, passes to the half guard. Trying to utilize the cage to get back to his feet. Beautiful hook. Got him pressed up against the cage here. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. Control the clinch. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dominant position. Minute remains in the second round. Forty-five seconds remains. Look at the battle for control here. And another takedown. He's got side control. They have fought for ten minutes. Round two is over. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick going. You gotta keep those uh, hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. And three twos, all right? Three twos. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. Here we see a huge shot landing on the ground. And here's that amazing judo throw, taking the fight to the mat with authority. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Heavy hands for him. Heavy hands for him, all right? There's Shandella getting set for round three. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Round three fight. is underway. Trying to he drops him with the uppercut. Side control. Oh! Man, those are knockout punches. And into full mount. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. He's in the full guard. Stay tight in there. Let's go, 
He's got side control. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Side control. Nicely done. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Side control. Boom! Mount again. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Side control now. Big right hand. Under three minutes now. Losing a half guard. Nicely done. Postures up. He's in the guard. He's in full guard. Postures up. In the full guard here. Side control. Oh, big right hand. He ate that one. And oh, again. Big one. They might have to stop this one. It looks like he's recovering. He's done a real good job of moving his head while he's on the ground. And that's why he's recovering here. Into his guard. Side control. Oh. Nice knee. Into half guard. Just over a minute remaining. Oh, he got reversed. Pushes him off with the feet. Stuffed. 45 seconds remains. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. And oh, he answers. Oh, he got straight oh. right hand. It is all over. Finishes it with the right over. hand. Tito Ortiz with the victory. Look how he throws his body into that, connects, and just puts him to sleep. Perfect technique, perfect timing, perfect execution. And a huge victory. And here we see it again, and that's it. Here we see it again. Excellent timing on the button. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito. The Huntington Beach bad boy reigns supreme. It's a lightweight fight between Jim Miller and the Fireball Kid, Takanori Gomi. The only pride fighter to ever hold the lightweight title, Takanori Gomi has been at the top of the 155 pound division for the last decade. A powerful striker, he'll be swinging to land one of his patented one punch knockouts in the center of the octagon. A well-conditioned wrestler with crafty submission skills, Jim Miller became a star of the UFC lightweight division with his fight of the night victory over Matt Wyman. Since then, he's racked up victory after victory against top-ranked opponents. And tonight, he'll be looking to continue his winning ways.
the take is brought to you by tap out an expression of combat known worldwide now available at tapout.com and now with the official introductions the veteran voice of the octagon here is bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this fight is three rounds in the ufc lightweight division introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a boxer and a wrestler he stands five feet eight inches tall Weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. This man is a former lightweight champion of pride. The Fireball Kid, Takenori Gomi. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds, Fighting out of Whippany, New Jersey, Jim Miller! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get things started. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Takanori Gomi, Jim Miller. Round one Fight. is underway. He is teeing off right now. Oh, big shot, Joe. Uh, he stunned him, Mike. Oh, nice left and a right. The crowd showing their support for the fireball kid, Takanori Gomi. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Gomi is bleeding. Oh, wow. looping hook there. And good right hand counter. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. Over the. Oh, he's hurt bad. What an onslaught of attack here. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. Just out of harm's way, and then boom, the counter. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Good takedown defense. And he answers. Man, this crowd is loving it, Mike. What a fight. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Oh, oh, nice hook and an uppercut afterwards. What an exchange here. Oh, big combination. Under 90 seconds remains in the first of three five-minute rounds. It looks like Miller is bleeding here. Gomi got hit on that same spot. That cut is really opened up now, Mike. Oh, good combination. He shoots. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Side control. Nicely done. Full mount. Oh, this is bad. Oh, reversal. He's working the rubber guard. And back to full guard. And now they're back to their feet. Again, he takes him down. Round one is complete. Great round, Mike. It could go either way on the scorecard, but they both came to fight. Absolutely, partner. This crowd is loving this action. So the kick won't reach you. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking perfect. Three, give me the deep breath. When you're throwing your punches and he's catching them, he's out wide, you can come up with the uppercut, okay? So after you throw a couple punches, you gotta come back up to that. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. And here we're seeing that unbelievable shot that almost ended the fight. And this was that nasty shot that connected. Great round for fans of the stand-up game. Remember, defense and offense at the same time, okay? But that offense... Chandela gets us set for round two. 
You ready, sir? Are you ready? This is round two, Hi. and here we go. Both guys staying in tight. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Trying to get the takedown. Stuffed. He can't take many more of these, Joe. He shoots in. Good sprawl. Swing and a miss. Good body shot. And now he's answered. Fast hands. Good battle inside. He's got double underhooks here. And another takedown. Oh, he got reversed. Over under control. Great job on the reversal. Oh, he gets reversed. Miller is bleeding bad here. This does not look good, Mike. Oh, and punishing the midsection. Close range here, Joe. He pulls the legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. Side control. Oh, and again. Big one. Half guard. <laughs> Great reversal. Just vicious, teeing off. Vicious haymakers from the top. Into his guard. Pressure. Pressure. Coming up on one minute, baby. And into side control. And really raining down some haymakers. Full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. Get to the body some too, okay? Try to spin him around. Don't, don't let your back sit, sit on the cage, okay? Okay, some more. Bent knees, okay? Getting a little bit high. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Some beautiful counter fighting on display. Here we see a slip straight into a vicious counter strike. And here we see the striking game being neutralized with a big takedown. And here we see another solid counter after slipping the incoming shot. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Don't crowd him. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? We are set for the Fight. third and Fight. final Fight. round. Fight. Both men exchanging. Oh, another, another one. big strike. Big right hand. Oh, but he recovers. He's got the clinch. Oh, he's tagged again. Nice combination here. Oh, he recovers. Wow, that right hand. Gomi is breathing heavy right now, Mike. What an exchange here. The clinch game once again. Oh, he hit with a big left hook. Gets a takedown. He's in the full guard. Looking to wall walk. Oh, 
He's got the double. And he's got it. And he's down. And he gets reversed. Oh, body shot. Nice counter right hand. Both guys staying in tight. Push kick. They clinch again. Pressuring his opponent up against the fence here. Oh, they're going to close it up again. Right to the clinch. Good takedown defense. Reversal. Very nice. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Nice job. Double leg. Three rounds complete. This fight is over. We will head to the judges' scorecards. Joe, neither man embarrassed himself, but neither man really put on a show in that fight. It wasn't the best fight we've ever seen, but it was a good one. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. And here we're seeing that unbelievable shot that almost ended the fight. And this was that nasty shot that connected. The judges have rendered their decision, and here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 30, 27, 29, 28, and 30, 27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Fireball Kid, Takenori Go! Takanori Gomi is victorious. It's our co-main event of the evening. It's the welterweight matchup between Nate Diaz and Royce Gracie. No name is better known to MMA fans than Royce Gracie. The very first ultimate fighting champion, this Hall of Famer's submission skills are regarded as some of the best in the world. Tonight, he's bringing his jiu-jitsu experience and indomitable fighting spirit back to the house he built, the Octagon. A jiu-jitsu specialist and ultimate fighter winner, Nate Diaz has been the recipient of multiple submission of the night and fight of the night honors. Add durability and an improved boxing game to the equation, and this native of Stockton, California is a handful for any opponent. Brought to you by Dodge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Torrance, California, presenting the legendary UFC Hall of Fame Octagon Warrior, Royce Gracie! And now, fighting out of the red 
corner. This man is a boxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California, Nate Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to begin. Hoist Gracie, Nate Diaz. And we are Let's underway. Fight. Joe, Nate Diaz quickly showed all of us that he was much more than just Nick's little brother. Yeah, Nate Diaz is one of the most talented guys in the 155-pound division. Submission wins over guys like Kurt Pellegrino have just showed that, you know, not only is he a good striker and a tough kid, but he's got some devastating submissions and really can pull things Oh, he gets reversed. In the half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Moves to half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Half guard. The real key here is to use the cage to help get yourself back to your feet. Oh! Oh, reversal. Great reversal. Mount. He's got half guard. Full guard here. Able to posture up. And back to full guard. Nicely to done. Half guard. Side control. Huge ground and pound, Joe. Oh, big shot. He's hurt. Boom! He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Great job on the reversal. Just over a minute remains. And in the side control. Half guard. Under a minute remains. Oh, he gets reversed. Wow, that right hand. And he gets reversed. Moves into full mount here. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Posture's up. Into the guard. Into half guard. Round one is in the books. A great display of grappling skills in that round. Absolutely, Mike. I love a good jujitsu match, and these two are putting on a show. You swim that arm over. One quick thing, when you go jail blow, come back with the jab. Don't come back with the hook, he's leaning back, they'll catch him with the jab. Good? Okay, he's tired, his legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace, push the pace on him. Good? Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Here we see a huge shot landing on the ground. Some good groundwork in that round, Mike. that two on one, if he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. The beautiful Ariani. Okay, fighters, you ready? You ready? Round two. Nate nice Diaz, fight. the southpaw. Thank you for looking for that right hand. Hey, you gotta throw your jab. Baby. Oh, answered by a big body shot. So go on. Push kick. Now they clinch. He jumps guard. He's got mission control here. Got the over under here. Now he flips him over in the side control and into full mount. Good job hip escaping there, moves to half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Half guard, postures up. Oh, he's got oh, his, back. his back. He's got the back here. Got both hooks in. That's a huge left hand. Oh, he's even hurt more. Oh, this is ugly, Mike. Oh, but he recovers. Oh, he got 
Slide reversed. Goes right into side control. He's got half guard. Is it full guard? Keep moving. Good sprawl. Okay, moves into the mount here. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. There he goes. Back to mount again. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half. Oh, reversal. Oh, passes to the half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Good sprawl. Inside the guard. Passes, moves into half guard. Good transition. Oh, we got reversed. Side control. Nice knee to the body. Reversal. Very nice. Transitions to the full mount. Oh, oh he's slapping on a triangle. Trying to remain patient. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. For a moment, it looked like this wasn't going to make it into the third. Yeah, that submission was locked in pretty tight. This is going to be a very interesting final round. That liver kick's working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take you out with one foot. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big foot. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on all right, let's go to the replay, Mike. Here we see a huge shot landing on the ground. And here's that submission escape. Great display of ground defense here. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Shandella. Okay, fighters. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go, round three. Let's fight. Gracie, oh, big hook. Boom. He rocks him with that hook, Mike. Oh, he recovers. Again, he takes him down. Half guard. Oh, reversal. Great reversal. He's looking for Kimura. Great submission defense. Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. Gets reversed. Great job on the reversal. He's past nice. the half guard. Under two minutes remains. Are you ready to explode? Put your right arm on his head. Do not let him turn into you. Watch for him to grab your legs. Oh, we got reversed. 90 seconds remains in the fight. Ready to move. Oh, he got reversed. Passes the half guard. Full mount. This is not good. He ate that one. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. And back to mount again. 45 seconds remains. And mount again. Oh, reversal. Passes to half guard. Able to posture up. Stay half guard with this. Ten seconds. Bring your leg over. That is the end of the third and final round. 
Joe, you know what? Decent fight. Not going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame of fights, but not bad. It definitely wasn't embarrassing. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. And here we're seeing that unbelievable shot that almost ended the fight. And here we see the striking game being neutralized with a big takedown. And here's that submission escape. Great display of ground defense here. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 30, 27, 30, 27, and 30, 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz earns the victory. event of the evening coming up next it's a heavyweight collision between gilbert ivo and big country roy nelson after a decorated career it's no secret anymore that there's a world-class athlete behind the oversized frame of roy nelson the owner of a dynamite right hand in championship caliber jiu-jitsu, Big Country competes at the very top of the heavyweight division. Known for his controversial behavior as much as he's known for his striking ability, Gilbert Ivel is a knockout artist with world-class experience. Whether it's by vicious knees or pinpoint accurate punches, he'll be looking to finish things early here tonight. Brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the Red Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, it's... Time! Three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kung fu fighter. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Roy Big Country Nelson. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Gilbert, the Hurricane Eyeball. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Roy Nelson, ready? Gilbert Ivel. And here we on, go. Oh, and 
countered by a big body shot. Both guys staying in tight. He shoots in. Is that the over under? Left arm inside. Left arm under. Nice double leg. And into side control. Into half guard. And back to full guard. Side control again. Oh, big elbow. Man, those are knockout punches. Oh, he's hurt bad. Just, just teeing off. Vicious haymakers from the top. The crowd in favor of big country. Roy Nelson. He's got half guard. Nelson is cut open here, Mike. There you go, nice. Follow up. Pushing him up against the cage. Under three minutes now. Oh, he's mounted him. He's got the arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. It is over. It is all over. Submission victory. Arm triangle. Big country. Roy Nelson with the victory. Take a look at it. Here he locks it in, Mike. Gets all of his weight pressed down against that arm, locking the neck on one side and his own arm on the other, cutting off the blood supply to the head. Beautiful submission by arm triangle choke. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke, Roy Big Country Nelson. Roy Nelson wins the fight. Let's take a look at tonight's fight of the night. Yeah, I was really looking forward to this fight, and I think it lived up to the hype. Both of these guys showed a lot of heart. This was an excellent fight, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a rematch down the line. Top to bottom, we had a great night of fights, exciting action, and this is our knockout of the night. Yeah, no question who won this fight. I mean, this is some serious power on display here as we take a look back at the replay. You have to wonder how he's going to bounce back after suffering a knockout like this. It's going to be interesting to see how he recovers and where he goes from here. Time for our submission of the night, an outstanding display of grappling. 
Yeah, Mike, this was a great Kimura here. He isolated that arm. He secures the grip first before applying any pressure, and that's very important. Once he has control, he torques that arm up and behind his opponent's shoulder, causing tremendous pressure. Perfect display of technique and gets him the win and submission of the night. Tonight, the UFC showed why it's the fastest growing sport in the world as we witnessed some incredible fights. For my partner, Joe Rogan, and all of us at the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time, we see you right back here inside the Octagon.